yes now i started okay now just now i'm trying to create one simple file sorry java project okay so i'm giving file demo project name file demo just i created a simple yeah. java project and file demo inside src i didn't created any mm -hmm. file so nothing is there inside bin obviously nothing will be there so now i'm trying to create one simple class file new class file manager i'm giving class name is file manager m a n a g e r that is a class name and package name is com dot file so just I am trying to finish it before finishing. Just see there. Yes. The checkbox got checked. So to generate the default methods. Yeah. Finish it. And uh, just I am trying to remove all those generated comments and default comments. So I am trying to remove this blank line. So this is the one. Okay. Now, so now I will show you one simple example. If you want to create one text file. So what we will do, we are giving right click and uh, how to create a file, we know, right click, new, and we are selecting the type of file. Yes. So this is the way to create a file, right? So how yes. to create file by using programmatically. Okay. So that is the syntax is your file, f i l e equal to new file. So actually file is a inbuilt class. Yeah. So this file is there in this package, okay. uh, java.io.file. Okay. The same way, this is our package, right? Yes. So this is a JDK package actually, java.io. Inside that, we have one class called file. Okay, okay yeah. that file, this is a default constructor. Actually, there is no default constructor in this okay. file. So we need to pass some argument here. So this argument is file name. What file you want to create? Text file or word document or something else? or directory or whatever xml or whatever so let's suppose i will try to create simple text test dot text t x t yeah. so you can give anything there file dot create create new file see there is one function is there so create yeah. new file just complete it see here and uh, <coughs> see it's throwing an error I think when you when I'm telling exception handling, you are there, right? Check it exception, yes. uncheck it exception. Yes, yes. Okay, here see it file dot create file. See here it is telling unhandled exception of type IO exception. Yeah. Actually, this is a checked exception. So if you are not providing try catch with IO exception, you are not able to compile this file. Yeah. It will not allow. So for that purpose, you need to write try catch. So try and close with try and catch and exception type is clearly it is telling io exception yes. if you want to see again see here through yes. io exception so you need to write same thing here io e x this is a checked exception yes. so here you need to if you want to print the exception message then you need to call this is an object of object variable is e, e dot inside this object there is one method is there print stack trace just call that one and let's suppose if you are not able to create this file what it will do now it will throw some exception yeah. and it will display the exception message yeah some problem you given wrong directory name or some location if you want you can give location also c colon you can give like that also okay where exactly the file has to be created yes yes if you want to specify any location or server location you can specify there if you are not specifying any location it will create into your project only okay so by default so right yeah. now i didn't give any location just now i'm trying to run this simple program run so just right click and refresh see here file got created you can yeah. able to see this one yes yes so this is the one so this is the way to create a simple file. Let's suppose if you want to create Word document, test dot doc. Simple, right? That is a document file. So again, we need to run this file. File, new, run. 
so just right click and refresh see here doc, word document got created so again same way if you want to create see one time file got created second time if you are trying to create now what it will do now it will check first what you, if test dot doc if it is there in the same location it will not create if okay. it is not there it will recreate okay okay and let's suppose if you want to create xml so right now there is no xml right test dot xml yes so it will create And just right click and refresh. See here you got XML file, right? Yes. The same way you can create it any file. If you want to create a directory folder. Mm. So how to create that one? So I didn't mention anything over here. Test. Mm. So direct I didn't mention any extension. Directly I'm trying to run. So go to here and see. See here, I didn't give any extension, mm -hmm. so it got created something. Yes. I think it's uh, some different file actually. There is no extension. There is no doc. There is no text. Yes. So <clears throat> you have just I given test, and let's suppose if you want to create a folder, there is one one method called mkdir make directory. So what it will do now? It will create a folder actually. Okay. This method will throw one different exception. See here. Yeah. See here. Checked exception, right? There is no statement which will generate I/O exception actually. Okay. That's what uh, this uh, catch block is telling. There is no statement which will generate I/O exception. So try to remove this one. That's what it is telling. So okay. you can remove. This is a checked exception, right? An so, un unchecked exception actually. So remove it, and you can remove it. So no need catch block. So it's not telling any. It's not showing any error. Mm -hmm. Just right mm -hmm. and run it. Just simple. So again, go to here and just uh, right click. I think it got created somewhere. See here, any file folder is there? Test. This is the previous one. Mm. So now run again. Right and refresh. Yeah, see now it got created. So Your test folder, yes. Yes, like that you can able to create directories okay. and files, any extension, whatever you want. Okay. And if you want to specify any location, you can specify D colon or E colon or any server location. Okay. Accordingly. So these are basically we are creating the empty files here. Yes, yes. This is an empty file. And next step, I will tell you how to write content. Okay. Content from the file. So this is one simple example file manager. Okay. Okay. Now I am trying to give one more example how to create a file and how to write content into that file so i'm trying to create one more class called file io manager i'm giving file io manager okay yeah. it's a class name and the same package i'm using just finish it this is a different example so delete the default comments and delete the default one single line comment and delete the blank space so here so here right i first i want to write i want to create a file and i want to write to content and next time i want to read the same content so how to write how to create a file how to write content how to read file so these three tasks we need to perform so this is the one one way of creating file and reading the file and writing the file this is the one way this is the first way and one way mm -hmm. and uh, okay so there is one inbuilt class called um, file output stream f i l e out file output stream this is one of the inbuilt class okay out equal to new file output stream so here right <coughs> uh we need to create a file object 
So first we need to create file, right? Yes. So there is two ways whether you can pass directly file name here. Okay. So I, what I want to pass, I want to pass. Um, student. I'm trying to create one of the text file of student. Okay. See, just I'm trying to create an object of file output stream and the file name I'm giving student.txt. Mm -hmm. See here, what is telling? File, exception type, file not found. So mm -hmm. we need to take care of that one. So this is a checked exception. So we need to uh, provide the try catch block. Try starting closing catch and the exception type is file not found. E. Yes. So if you want to and you need to import that. This is also one of the class. Okay. See here, yeah, this class is there inside Java dot IO dot. There is a package name. Yeah. And we are importing that class. This is our package. So if you want to see the message, then e dot print stack trace. So the, if if at all if if it is failed to create a file, then it will throw an exception. If you want to see the message, then you need to write this one e dot print stack trace. Yeah. Okay. So now we are trying to create a file. So what this statement will create file actually this is the first statement. Okay. So after that what we have to do we have to write content into the file right. Yes. So the content I am um, I want to write string name equal to hurry. This is the one of the student name. Yeah. So, what happened? So this is clear, right? So this statement will create file. And yeah. this is one of the simple uh, string variable I declared and I assigned value hurry. So I want to write hurry name into the file. Yeah. So out dot. So, <clears throat> so this is an out object. So uh, go to out object o u t dot. There is one method is the right so this is a class we create an object and we are uh, uh, just we are looking for the methods whatever it is there inside the file output stream there is one method called right close here so here right right we need to pass the so this is a string content but here we need to pass the we need to convert the string into byte array okay. so inside the string class there is one method is there name dot get bytes see here get bytes this is one of the inbuilt method of the string class okay so on the fly i will tell so many methods whatever it is there inside the string class right now we we, we saw one more method called get bytes what it will do no it will give you uh, i will show you that one care byte array byte this is a b type of array equal to name dot get bytes so basically the string we are converting into byte array array means if you want to store similar data type elements yes. more than one then we need to declare array yes. okay so we are basically we are converting the string into byte array okay. so and we need to pass the byte array here b we need to pass actually here b oh. So string we need to convert and we need to pass that uh, byte array. So here see there is one more unhandled exception type of IO exception. Yeah. So actually this method will throw one checked exception. So you need to handle that one. So again you need to write try catch here catch. Of IO exception. Right. Hmm. And uh, remove this one and write e dot print stack trace if you want to see the message. Okay, now clear, right? <clears throat> now we are just we are writing the hurry content into this file, and uh, now uh, once operation is done, we need to close this resource. So why? Because you know this is a stream. Stream in a sense, it's a kind of connection pipe. Yeah. 
So once let's suppose the tap is there in your house, right? First, what you will do, you will open the tap and you will get the water. Once you the you get sufficient water, you will do what you will do. You will close the tap, right? Yes. Otherwise, what happens? You know, keep on water is flowing. Yes. The same way, this is also one kind of stream. If you are not closing that one, connection will be opened always. So due to that one, no, your system performance will be reduced. Yes. So you need to do close. You need to call the close function. What it will do? You will disconnect the all the connections of the stream whatever you opened okay okay now that's all so now i'm trying to run this program okay so let's suppose just try to give one uh, sop here so that file created successfully okay yeah. just now i'm trying to run one more time run and we can see file created successfully that message and let's see our file is created or not just right click and refresh see here student folder a text file got created right so just try to open that one see hurry is there yeah so that you like that you can able to write the content into okay this is the way to write to create file and to write content into file okay Okay, I want to write one more time, Hari Kumar. Just I changed the content and I'm trying to run again. So file created successfully. See here, Hari Kumar is there. Yeah. So this is the way to create file. So now we know how to create file. So yeah. the second one is how to read the file content. Just a second. Yeah. Here in this uh, line number 13, byte B, you have declared the array. Mm -hmm. Here B is a, in the syntax or it's a like variable. 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 Okay. Yeah. You can give anything. anything. BT. Okay. I will, if you give BT, here you have to pass BT. Yeah. In, in the same example, like uh, this, uh, if, if, when we have uh, like uh, uh, hundreds of records. Okay. So how do we like, uh, uh, do, in that scenario also, we need to uh, manually and make the entries in the array or uh, that is one let's suppose these names is coming from different resource huh. you are calling some function and it's reading database and it is giving the name okay just imagine right now yeah. just we are hard coding here right yes yes so instead of that one you can call one function you can call one function get student name okay so it will be the student name just uh, string name equals to uh, get uh, student name yes there is one different function Okay. So right now just we are trying to learn the things so we are yeah. not calling with database anything okay so yes. in real time you, you will get this name from different resource or source yes and you you can convert that one into byte and you you can store into the file so many you should be aware of this logic yeah so now that is fine so now we know how to create file and how to write content in the file the second one is how to read the file content so this one I will give just one comment. Create file. This is a comment actually. Yeah. Okay. Now second one is how to read the file content. Data. Okay. So how to read file content? We have one existing file. So I'm trying to read this file content and I want to display the file content. So we have one class called file input stream. So previous one is file okay. output stream and uh, this is for uh, writing the content and this is for reading the content file input stream. Mm. new so here right you need to pass the file name allocation whatever for which file you want to read okay if you if you have any file in different drive you need to pass c colon documents colon file name but right now i am trying to read the same file i am not passing any different file Okay, same file I'm trying to read. Okay. 
So inside this class, right, there is one method is there input dot read. So inside this class, there is one method called read. See, you can able to see it, right? Yes. So what it will return? It will return int int number int. Okay. Okay. So it will return int. So just time uh, int. I I declared one integer variable and I assigned zero. Okay. So I need to end with colon. So okay, and <clears throat> I am taking one while loop while. You know while loop, right? Yeah. Okay. I am not explaining the while loop. I think why because you know this one. Yeah. I equal to input dot. Sorry, read. If it is not equal to minus one. So basically, right? Input dot read. What it will give? It will give one integer, and that integer I am assigning to i. Yeah. And the total number I am checking whether the integer is minus one or not. Okay. If it is not equal to minus one, then it will come into the inside, and I am trying to display the character. So what it what it will basically it is giving number, right? So it will read every character. Whatever first character it will read, and it will convert into byte. Yeah. And it will give to you. So again, I need to convert the byte into character. Yeah. The same here. We are converting character into Byte, byte here, right? So yeah. again, what we have to do? We need to convert the byte into character. So that purpose. So we need to convert C H E R care of integer. So whatever number I am getting, I am trying to convert into character. Yeah. So print. I am printing the all the characters. Okay. Now I am trying to run the program. See, file created successfully, and Hari Kumar. This is the content I read from the file. Yes. So this is clear, right? Yeah. Okay. But here, the what is the advantage? You know. So every time here we are converting string into byte, and again byte into character. There is lots of conversion is happening, right? Yeah. So it will um, it will give performance issue. So yes. we will go to some different approach. So this is one of the approach, and uh, I will create one more class. So this is clear, right? This example. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I will create one more class called File Manager Two. File, no, not Manager. Okay, I'll tell you the class name. File New Class. Buffer File Manager. B U F F E R. Buffer. file manager so class name i had given buffer file manager and i did the check box just i am trying to finish it finish so default comments i am removing and default single line comments also i am deleting and the white blank white line i have deleted so now close close the ps files we don't want all those things so the second approach how to create file how to write content how to read the content Yeah. So the the second one is right now. Previously we saw file input stream and output stream. Stream means basically it we are converting numbers. It's a stream of numbers like this. Okay. The data is flowing as part of numbers. Again the data is converting. The numbers is converting into characters. So that will take more time and it will it may create performance issues. So to avoid that situations we are going for different approach. Okay. So this one <coughs> we have called. file reader file writer there is two classes is there okay file writer so there is one of the inbuilt class file writer okay. so this is the one of the class it is there in the same package java.io.file writer yeah. so just import that class fw is create an object a new equal to file writer so here you need to pass the <coughs> Uh, file name. What is uh, what is the file name you want to try to create? So next time I want to create, I want to store office names. O F F I C office dot. Um, I can give doc. Yes. So right now I I want to create document. 
don't want to create ex, uh, text text already I created so just I want to create one document called office dot doc office names so this is the file name and the type is document doc so you see here so this default constructor is throwing exception called IO exception so I need to write Block. Why? Because this is a compiler ex compile time exception. Yeah. Right. Open bracket. Open bracket. Close bracket. Catch. And open bracket. Close bracket. So here I need to write IO exception. If, if you are not providing this try catch, right? So compiler will not allow, and you are not able to compile this program. Forget yeah. of running. First of all, you are not able to compile this program. So that's what we are providing try catch and if any exception is there if you want to see the message you dot print stack trace So we'll see this message also one time we'll give some wrong file name and we'll try to print We'll try to see the what kind of exception message we'll be getting Okay So this is the way to create file so this line will create file and after that what we have to do we have to write content into that file right so how yes. to write content into that file so we have one more uh, class called buffer writer b u f f e r writer okay. buffer writer buffer writer equal to new buffer. buffer writer and we need to pass this object FW object. Yeah. So you just copy the FW and pass over here and with semicolon. See here. <clears throat> so this statement will create file and this class will be useful to write the data into this file. To write the data into this file. So just BW dot see here there is some functions, is there so many functions? Yeah. Go to here, write. So write and one of the argument is string. So I'm selecting that one. So here I am writing directly. I'm not convert just you can write here whatever you want. And what office name I want to Pistes Tech Park. <clears throat> this is one of the file name, one of the content I want to write. After that, what I want to do, I want to give one line. Now I want to come into the next line. So first line Pristel stick park and second line. So how to come to if you are not providing. So let's suppose I will show you that one. Mm, BW dot write. So I want to write echo space. E C H O S P A C. -E. This is also one of the office name, right? You heard about this one? Yeah. yeah echo space. So after finally we need to do close. So otherwise I said no streams are open and uh, mm -hmm. it will give performance issue then try to execute this program So so just try to give one statement here File created successfully So now I'm trying to run again one more time so file created successful message game. So go to our uh, just do right click and refresh. See here office names document is created, right? So yeah. just try to open that one. <clears throat> Copy and uh, try to open from here and let's see. This file got created and data got written, right? Yes. You can able to see this content, right? Yeah. Okay, that is fine. So here, right, Pristes Tech Park and uh, Echo Space both are came into in one, one line. line. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's not fair to write everything in one line, right? Yes. So how to write multiple lines? So there is <clears throat> one function is there here. First, Pristes Tech line. After that, if you want to write uh, one new line, so there is one function called B dot 
new line okay for okay. spaces also there is one <clears throat> space yeah if we want to give provide spaces between two names yeah yes if you want to give space right so let's yes. suppose you want to give space so here again right content right so next time give white space oh so try to execute the uh, i mean program again so what it will do it will uh, delete the previous file and it will recreate again okay so deletion and everything is done by jdk yes back end side okay and uh, there is one more approach is there right now every time if you are uh, rerunning the program it will delete the program and it will re it will recreate again Okay. So, let's suppose if you if you don't want to delete the existing file if you want to add again so there is one method is there so just i will copy this one and i will paste here so i will replacing i'm opening the file see here there is a space is there yes you can able see the difference right yeah. so now instead of space i want to give next line yeah so just remove this uh, right and next line new line yeah new line correct new line so now i'm trying to rerun the program one more time so file is created and i will copy that file so just copy paste into just replace and try to open again see here you can able to see next line right yeah so these things are very useful for you why because when you are trying to uh, i mean start the selenium you are doing automation so yes. what you automation what you will you will read the test data from one file and yes. you will pass the test data to your application application will give some results either uh, some page or some response and you need to track that response into another file yeah so you should be aware how to read file how to write file all those things so this is the one of the <clears throat> what is the advantage of this second approach you know uh, <clears throat> here we have so many format format characters is there we can able to no need to convert the string into bytes right yes so we are not doing any conversion and we have some formation new line so many yeah. things is there so that is an advantage and uh, now we know how to write content into file the second approach is the second uh, i mean one is how to read the file content so in this second approach also we can specify the location as well yes you can specify okay so if you want i will show you that example also one time so i want to create um, what i will do i will write one temp folder over here temp so in e colon i am trying to create temp so temp is already there so what i will do temp selenium something you hmm temp underscore sel okay yeah so just go to here <coughs> copy this location yeah and uh, pass here see here right <coughs> if you, we are giving forward slash we need to go to forward slash okay this is the syntax you need to follow in java okay so now i am trying to rerun this program again so file is created successfully and go to your location and the file will be ready yeah. can you see the content see rest yeah. take park and echo space yeah let's suppose if you want to read the data from different server location but then you have to pass the server name here okay so you can pass anything so the first one is create file and read the right write data into file so this is done this is clear right yes okay if you are not clear i will explain one more time not a problem and it's clear it's clear right okay now we will go to i um, mean one more step how to read this file 
yeah okay and sorry uh, in the reading file so right now file writer is file writer class is used to write uh, yeah. content into file or create file so yeah. we have one more class called file reader yeah file reader fr equal to new file reader and here you need to pass the file, file. location which file you want to read okay. i am reading same file so <clears throat> inside file reader class we have some methods dot read so where is this read line so we can't read directly so we need to use one more class called buffer here we are using buffer writer right so yes. here we need to read use one more class called buffer reader buffer buffer reader br equal to new so i will copy paste the name i don't want to type and open bracket close bracket so inside the buffer reader <coughs> see here buffer reader right so here we need to pass the that object fr whatever we created earlier this object so this object we are passing here we are yeah. creating an object and from this object we need to see what are the possible lines is there see here there is one method is read line okay so read line and uh, it will return string object actually it will return string okay okay so just i am creating one variable called string sorry string line equal to null so just i declared one string variable and default value null i assigned so now i am writing one while loop while one bracket close bracket so br dot br dot read or uh, read line it will return one string right so i am assigning the this string into line i can able to write yeah so this entire thing again i'm trying to compare if it is not equal to null then i'm 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 printing that object line so just i'm reading one line i'm comparing that line is null or not if it yes. is not equal to null i'm printing that line so now try to run this program see here we can able to display we are reading content and we are displaying okay so let's suppose right now file is there in this location what i will do i will comment these lines so yeah. file is not required to create right file is already created already is there in this location right yes. so i will try to read the same file again so existing file i am reading so i can able to read it yes so what i will do i will delete this file let's see what happened so due to some someone got deleted this file mm. so so in this location file is there now no no file so i am trying to run this program see we got an exception file not found exception okay so what is the exception meaning <coughs> file not found in this location it is telling there is no file you are reading you are reading you are trying to read some file but it is not there in the location so that's what this message how this message is displaying you know just here we are calling e dot print stack trace yeah so that method is printing these lines okay so that is the advantage of this one if you let's suppose if you are not printing anything just comment this one mm -hmm. try to run so you don't know what will happen you didn't see anything here yeah so that's what if you want to see anything so when our exception will come here this line will throw an exception called no file no file exception that time this cache block will be called and this will be executed 
if yeah. everything is fine this will not be called okay so this one i think we have already discussed okay mm -hmm. so that is the advantage of try catch block so this is the way to read file and write file and exception handling so this is clear right yeah here uh -huh. in this uh, just uh, for my understanding okay okay the line number 23 this file reader fr uh -huh. is a standard syntax that is a standard syntax yes just the variable what you are passing here is the file location file location yes and the second uh, 24 uh, line the mm -hmm. br is the variable which variable are, variable name yes and you are assigning the previous created yeah. object to here yeah. yes and this object i am taking and i am trying to read one line and i am trying to compare now. what it will do you know br dot read line every time it will try to read one line from the file and it will we are assigning it to this line so from mm. starting to ending it will keep on trying yeah. once, after, once after all the lines are get over it will try to read the last line last line mm. nothing is there right so you yes. will get null none so once you get null this while loop will not execute it will come out yeah so that time file read part what get over so that is the simple way how to read write file and uh, yeah. locations all those things so this is clear right yes and uh, mostly you can use this approach how to read and write yeah, file quite, uh, easy and straightforward easy and straightforward in case of selenium you can go for that one also this is, it will give better performance actually okay so you can go this approach and you can read file write file or whatever you want you can create excel or whatever yeah so this is the best approach it will give best performance actually okay. hmm. So that's all about uh, today's class. Yeah. So n thirty seven. We have still, I um, mean, uh, three more minutes. That's why. Uh, that's fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, you will send this code, uh, this today's examples in the Nova document. Yeah. Today's examples, file yeah. handling and exception handling also pending. Yeah. That also I will send. Okay. So tomorrow I'll send exception handling one document. Yes. Exception handling plus strings. Okay. Tomorrow and day after I will send file handling. Okay. So two documents you will get pending from my side. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Sure. Fine. We'll see tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Oh, fine. No problem.